The no like and trust factor, what is it and how does it affect building your brand? So I am Tanya Wilson Cherry, the growth strategist, business coach and mentor to women service-based business owners just like yourself, helping them brand, build and profit in their business. I function from a three-point perspective, abundance mindset, personal growth and business building. I believe they are the perfect three when they are in alignment Everything shifts in your business and in your life. And on today, we're talking about the no like, and trust factor. So maybe you've heard of the no like, and trust factor before, and you're wondering, what really is the no like, and trust factor? First of all, right, a business that doesn't market doesn't grow. And marketing is getting your products and services in front of the right people so they'll do business with you. So that is one of the ways that people get to know you specifically through things like your blog posts, your podcasts, your videos on YouTube, your lives on Facebook or Instagram, the articles that you put on um, LinkedIn, things that you do in your local community, going to trade shows, vending, things of that nature are how people get to know you. So just remember, if you're wondering, nobody's coming. Are you marketing? Are you doing things as it relates to the no part of the no like and trust factor. And then there is the like aspect of your business. So we know if, for instance, this may be your first time watching me and you're trying to figure out, hmm, I like her. You know, you're thinking the different thoughts in your head. And one of the things would be because I am speaking your language. If you are going to get people to like you who are seeing your business, your company, letting them get to know who you are and speaking their language is important. So one of the things that I teach inside 3D Success Academy, I don't think I mentioned that. I'm also the founder of 3D Success Academy for women in business, helping them to grow their business and their life. And inside the academy, we talk a lot about branding. So branding is not your websites, your logos, your pretty pics. You'll hear me say it so often. Those are extensions of your brand. Those are designs that come from really, really figuring out your brand DNA. Now, your brand DNA is where you get really clear on who you are as a brand, the value that you bring in the marketplace, and who are the perfect people that would love to have services with you or would love to purchase your products um, or your services within your business. Now, your perfect people is also something we go through in 3D Success Academy because you are not for everyone. And when you get really, really clear on who you are as a brand, you can then speak the language of your ideal customer because those are the things that you, your, your areas of expertise, the things that you're great at, and what language is going to be needed for them to begin to like you because you're speaking their language. For instance, if your business is based on single moms and maybe you teach concepts to help single moms um, productivity, you know, cook meals, different things that single moms would be very interested in that would help them. So maybe that's what you do. Maybe you help single moms um, to meal prep for the kids for their lunch or something of that nature. Maybe your range, your perfect people are single moms. Then you would speak their language. Now, one of the things I do with my clients is we go a little deeper than just your lane or your perfect people being single moms we would define some even more detailed things about your perfect people that would allow you to speak their language and allow them to end up liking you. Now, some of the like factor happens after people already have services with you. Your consistency, uh, the way that you greet them, your client attraction system from the time they enter your building, if you're a brick and mortar service-based business, or from the time they begin to schedule an appointment with you if you're a coach or a trainer and you have um, something that you actually teach, all of that is helping to build the like fact factor in the no like and trust factor. And then there's a trust factor. Now I can't, I can't wait to share about this. I want to use an example of a company that's going to help you get really, really clear on brands that are building trust or how your business can build trust with consumers. So this particular brand that I want to share about is called Tom Shoes. Now, seeing as though I teach branding, I was actually teaching branding for quite some time and didn't know that that's what I was teaching, right? So I've been branding since 2003 when I owned my own 
um, brick and mortar service based business, but many of the clients who were coming to me really had branding issues that were keeping them from figuring out who their perfect people were so that they could start to create strategies of brand awareness and marketing that would actually speak to the perfect people. And in that, I love studying brands. And I like this particular brand, Tom Shoes, because of his brand story, how it was ever formed. So he had gone to Argentina and he saw all of these children who didn't have shoes. And in his heart, it just bothered him. So he decided to create a company, a sustainable company that created revenue that would allow him to be able to give to the children who didn't have shoes. So what better type of company to build than a shoe company? And so that's how he actually came up with this idea for his brand. Now I wanna interject for a minute and move off to the side because if you notice, I said he said he wanted to build a sustainable company, right? That he could then use to give from the overflow of the company. Now, as women in business, our heart is to give. I believe giving is a huge principle. I'll talk about that in a moment. But oftentimes I find with women in service-based businesses, they price wrong in order to profit and their goal is to be able to service everyone. But your goal is to build a sustainable business and you're gonna do that from figuring out who your perfect people are that you need to build the know, like, and trust factor for. Once your business is sustainable, you can give from your overflow. That's for a whole nother uh, broadcast. I actually go in detail on that in what's called the Purpose Portal Inside 3D Success Academy, where we talk about your money seal and the things that's causing you not to hit your next income goals. We also talk about money mindset, abundance mindset. And then of course, we look at pricing your services so that you can create pre premium products and services attract premium clients and build a premium brand. But we go more in detail on how people are pricing. A lot of it is based on their thinking. Gosh, I really want to go into detail, but to stay on course with the fact that we're talking about the no like and trust factor, a lot of people begin to not only like his company because of that, not only know his company because of that, but also trust his company because of that, because he used the giving principle. One of the principles I teach my clients is creating extreme value, going the extra mile, um, under promising and over delivering. Guys, it's a biblical principle, right? Um, give and you shall receive. Now, one of the things that happens sometimes as we're building our brand and we're wanting to get the money, we sometimes only focus on the receiving part and we leave the giving part out. And so don't be afraid to give extreme value when you are marketing, when you're servicing your clients. And guys, extreme value is not always money. It's not where you're always losing money. It could be in the experience that you're creating for your customers. But I absolutely love this brand. It's by a guy named Blake. I forgot his last name, but I remember his story, right? It makes me like the brand. My daughter and her cousin actually wanted the shoes. It's been years ago where they wanted the shoes. And when I looked it up, I just fell in love with the overall idea of this company. He later went on to create this um, principle called one for one, where wherever someone purchased, whenever someone purchases something in your business, you give a portion or you give one back. He's gotten a lot of other businesses to give within that concept, within their companies as well. So a heartfelt idea, you know, his brand DNA led to an amazing opportunity to um, add value to underprivileged children, create a sustainable, profitable brand, and, and also fulfill one of his life's passions, which is what I help women service-based business owners to do. Many of you feel you have a purpose outside of uh, just doing business. You feel your business serves a bigger purpose. I help you get clear on um, what your brand is set out to do in the marketplace, how to position it, getting really clear on your brand and your ideal, your perfect people, so that you can create more awareness and of course, create more profits in your business, but also so that you can create a lifestyle that you love. I believe that your business should fund your lifestyle and not run your lifestyle. And the no like and trust factor will help you do that quicker, sooner, faster. Remember when people are wanting to know, like, and trust you, you're creating that in your content, in your blogs, your podcasts, the things that you're doing 
to bring awareness to your brand. That's my take on today, guys. Be sure to check the descriptions for different ways to connect with me and also for more information on 3D Success Academy, which is now open for enrollment, the no like and trust factor.